Well, everybody, it's been a while since I've had any kind of videos. I've had with the tropical storm hurricane Zeta come through, destroyed a little garden she had. I had about back, so I had to build something to put my lawnmowers and stuff in, and all my yard working tools and that, and things like that. And I got like a, I've made where I can keep my table saw, a small table saw, and my my uh, chop saw stuff like that in there, and other tools. I didn't build anything to put trains in because I keep them in the house. Basically, I'm right here in the house anyway. Kind of like it like that. But I'm going to move these trains out of the room I have them in. Because if you've looked at videos I had before, I had these different lift outs and everything. And I'm putting in here multiple ones. And one of those kind of, two of them kind of meeting together. They did okay. I really wasn't happy with it. I really like the way this little room I'm in. You can go out the back door and go to my back porch. Or you can walk out front here onto the carport. And I, I can kind of use this little room as a sitting room and, and, and keep my, one of my work tables in here. I can build models and stuff on in here and have this as that type of thing. And I'll have this middle bedroom. It's basically going to be kind of where I put my bed and some of my furniture and like that as I take it out of the other, the master bedroom down on the other side of the house. Now I'm just going to do a quick video just kind of show you where I'm at with the, taking the, this thing apart. Just a real, real quick thing here. You can see where my paper mill was. I've kind of got that over on this other table. I just did that so I could get to the screws. See if you can see this thing move. I've basically taken it apart. It's it's a freestanding thing. It's not something that's built as a shelf. It's intended to be freestanding. It's basically an old layout pieces that I had that were basically 16, 16 inches wide and I put two of them, put them, two of them together. It's 32 inches. Those are basically cut down from some old in track modules I used to have. The only thing I'll have to really do to get through this door over here is to take this whole section here off. That's on the end here. Well, that's a, that's a door that door. It'll fit through that door. It's a 34 inch door. So it'll go through that, that opening pretty easily. And here's what something I built. Basically, you can see I got all my paper mill and mother, some of my other stuff on here. And it's basic. It is just a standalone thing. It can stand on its own. I've actually not completed it. It's going to be a little fancier looking than that when I get done. And then I'll have to take this apart here. I got bolts, little carriage bolts holding that to there. Only thing is that would be cantilevered. I'm how I got a some legs I can put under the end of this thing and use that right there. And this here was going to be one of the areas in one of the lift outs anyway. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got tired of having to interface regular track with the Caddo and all that. And I just said, I'll just do it. Away. And there's another one of my lift outs over there. It just got to be too much with the lift outs and this door. See this door goes directly outside of my carport. It was kind of convenient when you're working in here. You can go out to the car, go out to my truck. I don't have a car. And just sit there, and I've done model work out there, set up a little table and work out there. And as I go around, there you go out into my backyard there, which I have a little porch right there. I may expand that porch a little bit later, but then there's an old concrete patio out there too that's pretty nice. So I really wanted this room. I really want going to use this room here for something more of a leisure room for me. And I'm going to have like a desk or something I put in here that I can do my modeling and everything on. And I'm going to use the, the center bedroom here, which is about the same size as this one, except the closet's built into the wall there. And put my bed in there and my, my furniture in there for that. And I can have me a little sitting room in this room where my trains are now. And on the other side of the hallway over there is a master bedroom. And it is basically, I got more width over there than I do in here. Even extra other than even having that. So I'll have another three foot or more direction to go that way. I may even not even have a lift out at all. Depending on how I do the, do the bench, the, the actual bench work. Well, that explains what I'm going to be doing with this room for the trains. I'm going to be moving out of there and I'm going to use this as kind of my model building room and my sitting and relaxing room attached to my bedroom there. I'll be able to go out on the back porch or onto the carport here 
which is nice to set out in sometimes in the evenings. And I like, really like being able to, the convenience of going in and out of the house through these doors back here rather than having to do a lift out and whatever and then that getting all messed up. So I think I'm going to enjoy this better with the trains over in the bigger room and being able to sit in this room and do little things over there while I have my bed in the other room, which is adjoined to this one. It's going to be pretty neat, I think. I think I'm going to like it. But I'm going to continue on my journey with this in some videos. And I'm going to try to do a part two of that museum video that I was doing in Campo coming up, like I said I was going to do. And I said I just kind of got derailed by fixing some things around here because of Hurricane Zeta. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye. We'll see you on the, on the next one. If you like what you see here, hit subscribe, like button, leave some comments. Other all, if you're doing these model trains and you're not having fun at it, you're doing it wrong. See you later.